There we go. Hey, we got to wait I, eight I, seconds. I don't curse. No, nobody I, curse. I, 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 and I, nobody I, curse. Because he literally did. Nobody say any bad up. words. He said that last Hey, hey shout out to YouTube for uh, being more lenient with us being able to say words like, you know. Stop, bro. Stop. Uh, on YouTube, it's great. We really appreciate it. Shouts out to not Susan because she's gone now. Anyways, hey, shouts out to y'all like watching us on Spotify or uh, uh, checking us out on uh, whatever listening platforms you're on. This might be a little more enjoyable experience for you on the listening platforms because we're only gonna do one topic this week. And to be honest, if y'all are on here and you not on YouTube, please just go drop a sub over there for us too because that is much appreciated. And we appreciate y'all for the listeners that we do have. Me and Hessen, I promise you, right, um, are starting to collab for real kind of hard and want to bring up some new ideas where we can make this more of a better experience for y'all. So look into that. Appreciate y'all. But let's get it. Hey, before we get started, allow us to introduce ourselves. My name is Heston. And I'm Dan. And we are definitely off topic. Off. Except for today. All the time. Oh, well. Except for today. Not this time. We're on topic today. Hey, we're not definitely on topic, bro. We're on Casey Anthony. Y'all don't know. Y'all about to find out. There's a documentary but, on Peacock. Yeah, I feel really like much. everybody know. Hey, any new subs? Y'all listen to this? No new subs? Old new subs? Let's get it. Hit the sub button. It sure should. I like that, man. Mama, dad, sister, aunt, your niece, your nephew. Let's go ahead and get it. Hell yeah. Yellow, hey. hey, grab there a glass, is. whatever. Glass of water, milk, Kool-Aid, Gatorade, Powerade, Powerade. A nipple, a mug, All that. a bowl. Yeah. Let's get it. You get it. Let's get it. <laughs> All right. Oh, easier. <laughs> I don't know what, yeah, that was a little rough, right? Oh, you went straight, though. Ooh, you did that bourbon straight? Yeah. Damn. Hey, we should start bro, doing this. Bro, Whenever we get bro, a new bottle, we should you, put it here like you, this. You know I do all my shit straight uh, with room temperature. Yep. I want nothing cold. Straight nothing, room temperature. Nothing makes nothing heat it up. All right, dude, let's get this fucking shit started. I don't even know how many episodes this chest, is. I think which it's I don't three. have any at all. But let's see. Hey, hey. Uh, for the record, before we get started, I actually don't know what happened. In also, he doesn't. Before we get started, I forgot to mention, road to twelve oh two. How many kids did Casey Anthony have? Two, right? One. One. Hey, let's get one like on the video. One like right? for, for Casey Anthony. Hey, we're on the road to two K. I'm gonna like let's the go. video myself just to make it happen. Yeah. We're on the road to 2K. Let's get 2K, it. 2K, let's go, bro. Hey, let's watch this shit, man. All right. This shit about to... I'm telling you, it's about to be crazy. Hey, this used to be my old boo, y'all, back in the day. Hey, so, Kimberly, you can put those on. They do work. I'm in my 30s. So... Um, at, at the time this case happened, I was much younger. <laughs> but I kind of thought Casey Anthony was fine. She liked to party. So I was kind of like... Oh, oh Damien yeah. likes her a lot. I'm like, what's up? I love her. I, yeah, I just don't I think that, sh that she had anything to do with this. But no spoilers if y'all haven't seen it, so... Casey Anthony has agreed to an on-camera interview for the first time since being acquitted of murdering her daughter in 2011. Before we go any further... Hey, <clears throat> y'all comment right now. We watch shit with subtitles, alright? I don't know about you guys. Y'all tell us if y'all watch shit with subtitles or not. But in this household, we watch shit with subtitles. Hey, we sub hey comment below if y'all subtitles and no subtitles. They moved into a rental house for the purpose of shooting this documentary. Betting for sure. It's kind of fake. You're part of my life. She's got host lives. Some of the most priceless things that I have. Uh. Why? Some of the only things I have left of Kaylee. That's gay. What is? This one. She probably killed her kid, and she's like, "It's over the most expensive thing." Well, well, can you can you wait your house. until you see the? Um, they gonna show right. court, right? Privacy. Right, right. Are they gonna show court? I think so. I don't know wait. anything about. It. I hope so. Whose privacy I take very very seriously. Don't do her um, like that. You, think, you still think she looks good? And that's also my safe space. I gotta. I gotta. 
to move away from. Bro, now it's not the time to make that comment. Let's anything scary. Let's take it. Let's warm into it. Yeah, let's warm into it. Let's take it in. Because it's been a while since I done seen her, so, you know. This was off in my mom's house. Oh, there you go. Kaylee was just... And then I go, okay, bye, and runs around again. Like the little fairy princess that she was. Thankfully, I have things like this to look back at. Things like this. These moments that I had with her. I was with her when she did this. <laughs> her <laughs> her <laughs> her okay. To me, her demeanor Those seems natural. It doesn't seem uh, forced. You what? Her demeanor seems natural. There was it doesn't trauma. seem like she's forcing it. Or do y'all do feel like she's forcing I it? I disagree. I think she's putting it on right now. And too much of her memory. Why the fuck would she frame that? That's stupid. Well, bro, her daughter died when she was like a like a baby like that. So those are like the last Story things that she's had. I hear you. Right, right, right. say her mother has provided them with more lies than information. Uh oh. Casey Anthony reported her three-year-old daughter missing in mid-July. Three years the old. Child was reported missing 31 days late. Oh, why didn't you call 31 days ago? I was yeah, what the fuck? Resources to try to find her. Investigators say she'd given them bogus information about her employer and where she dropped off the child. 31 days? She kept on going out and having fun while her daughter was missing. What? Kaylee's remains were hidden in the woods. Mother Kaylee. She was partying while her kid was gone. Murder. Kaylee died because her mother decided that the life that she wanted was more important. There's the party life you're talking about. This is the Super Bowl the party, of trial. Bro. The most famous murder case since O.J. Simpson. She didn't kill the jury her daughter. Is entering the courtroom right thing. now. This is the Casey Anthony trial verdict <laughs> coming back. As to the charge of first degree murder, we, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Oh! No regard at all for that baby. Oh, <laughs> shit. You didn't say that child! Casey Anthony has stayed out of the public eye. She has not done a single on camera interview since she was acquitted in her murder trial. I wouldn't either. I'd be like, Casey's never told her story. How like, I'm gone, bro. And gone. <laughs> she has something to hide. I'm out of here. She completely disappeared. And actions speak louder than words. It, 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 if it's, you it's, could speak to Casey now, what would you say to her? Well, you so would I, think, I think I would just Come ask on her. Come on in, answer some questions. Come on Just in. tell us why. Why would Why'd you do it? Why you killed your daughter? Why'd you kill your baby? <laughs> you sound just Why'd like him. Yeah, I know. That's my guy. That's that's the guy I do. Why'd you do it? <laughs> just why? Just tell us why. <laughs> just tell us why. <laughs> yeah, Owen Wilson. Why? Why? Why'd you do it? Why? Nice. That's Casey Anthony right there. Casey interview? A, B, C, Girl, marker? Answer Plastics? to your question. Remember the one you asked me? She, she looks like... You um, said, you said what I steal? Yeah, would you? Why yeah, talk to you me would. now you would. when you're not yep. getting But what do her toes control? look like? Crusty. I just wow, need someone to be that? willing to listen. Hey, you willing to listen, bro? And I've spent you the listen. last you, 10 years you, making sure <laughs> hey, let's go that and I listen, knew who bro. I was. Let's go. That I started to cope with this loss. Mm -hmm. And that I had something to say to make my daughter proud. Yeah, what you guys say. But also to honor her properly. All right. And this is part of that. If you're full of shit, this is fucked up. What it's you're hard doing because right now. a thousand questions go through my head. What was she doing? Though? I'm responsible for it's answering every weird. everyone in the world's questions. Is Anthony about looks like a horse her, About what happened? She looks like a horse. I still don't know. What? What happened to Kaylee? I know what I'm afraid of. I know what eats at me at night. I know what eats at me day after Your day. Parents did that shit. Because I know what I lived through. Mm-hmm. Your fucking parents did it. That's why you really don't know. Casey, what's your tattoo? This? It's peonies and half a mandala. Symbolizes growth, rebirth. I have fought so hard for a normal life. My defense team was very adamant about making sure that I was able to have a fresh start after the trial. Great. I didn't receive any help or assistance from my biological family. Mm. I was given a little bit of- Hold on. Mm. Who is Casey mm. Anthony? What does she do? So like, 
I only know her from the trial. Is she a normal person? Normal that had a person trial? who had a daughter. Right. Who her daughter fucking died. And yes, it, this okay, made so her. So she's a, a normal person. person. She's not like a celebrity or anything, right? If she just had a famous case, like she's known because of her case. Exactly. Right? Okay. Okay. I'm just making sure. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. Right, so this is what makes this more outrageous that it's even gone this she's far. She's a normal person. So basically, right, all this shit made her rich. So a lot, a lot of maybe what we're going to see is because the way that they made this shit go. Yeah. Pat McKenna was the lead investigator during my case. No. Party I've been working for Pat McKenna I as his party research assistant. Hey, go ahead, go ahead, go get a go get some paper. Oh, on the camera. I'll pause it, bro. <laughs> hey, and we'll be right back. We're back. Um, we're gay. He's gay. All right, let's do. Oh shit! I don't know why he would come back and say that I'm fucking gay. I'm. <laughs> he's been saying I am though for the past three days. When he really is, that was sus. Drop, drop a comment for your boy and make sure y'all hit that like button. <laughs> let's get back to this case. Yes, Anthony. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my bad. That was the best decision that I ever made in my life was having a kid. Right. It was becoming a mom. She was perfect. <sighs> the only person in this world that matters to me still is my daughter. But I'm still defending the fact that I didn't hurt her. I live it every single day. And no one can ever tell me I should just get over the fact that my daughter isn't here and I've been blamed for her being gone. Mm -hmm. Bro, Casey, bro, Kay, girl, Casey. Here we go. Casey. Case against Anthony. Uh, the case Come against on Casey Anthony. Come on the ass, man. Come let's with see. it. Well, let's see. Let's see the Come facts. Come with it, Casey. Let's see the facts. Come on with it, Casey. Let's see the facts. Let's go. Orange County. Come on here with we it. Go. Come on with it. Officer Dick Tucker. My Let's name is talk Allen. about it. Let's talk about it. At the time of the Anthony case, I was a sergeant at the Orange County Sheriff's Office, and I supervised the Anthony investigation. This is a it big, by the way. Story. Certainly, a Cindy Anthony so Kaylee called 911. 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> I called a little bit ago, the deputy sheriff saying I found out my granddaughter has been taken. She has been missing for a month. Her, her mother finally admitted that she's been missed. Okay, what is, so what is here now? Okay, what is the address that you're calling from? We're talking about a three-year-old little girl. What we believe we have at this point is a three-year-old that's been missing for a month didn't make sense. I mean, you know, usually when, when a child goes missing, parents report it right away. Is your daughter there? Yeah. Can I speak with her? Hello? Hi. Can you tell me a little bit what's going on? My daughter's been missing for the last 31 days. Who has her? Do you have, do you have a name? Her name is Zenaiva Fernandez Gonzalez. She's been my nanny for about a year and a half, almost two years. You took Kaylee to or babysitter's house. Yes. And walk me through. You drop her off to go to work? Mm-hmm. Okay. Get off of work. And... I got off of work, and I show up to the apartment, knock on the door, nobody answers. I call Zanaida's cell phone, and it's out of service. At that point, Yuri affords Casey an opportunity to take him to several locations in the Orlando area um, in an effort to try to determine where the child may be. Mm-hmm. Right, so she take him to some. Okay. He drove her to the apartment where Casey said she had dropped Kaylee off. There was no Zenaida Gonzalez that lived at the place. In fact, that apartment had been vacant for months. And of course, we That's learned a little pretty sus. quickly that she was lying about a lot of things. Right. But, but was she? In well, let's we'll see. I mean, other people can be running game, right? At, you know, at this point. Studios. You know what I'm saying? And so that morning, Detective Melch went to Universal and found out that she, that she wasn't an employee. She didn't work there. 
So I told him to stay there, and I would go pick her up, and I would bring her right. to you. So she lied about where she was working. She would do how, many, how she would react. And she lied about thinking, where she dropped her baby off. She would start admit off, that she was making Shut it up. That's all right. No, no, no. Well, this is the case against but her. That's not the reaction. And then the other case so, for her. Fine. We walk into the <laughs> HR building where she has told us she has an office, and she's kind of waving at people, and they are waving back. I mean, but they're like, you know, they're waving like. You, know, you can tell by their expressions that, you know, she doesn't work in the building. She's, she's not somebody known to the people in there. We actually turned down a hallway where there's nowhere to go. It's a dead-end hall. Casey turned and looked at us and said, I, I don't really work here. So... She was arrested for lying to Yuri during the course of that portion of the investigation. Why do you think Casey felt the need to lie? Why do I think she had felt the need to lie? That's a good question. I, listen, I look. Uh, I think she killed her dog. Oh shit! She didn't want to get in trouble. She didn't want to get I caught. I mean, you know. Certainly, that that would be a, a motive. I'm looking at her uh, in, in jail, screenshots about it. Y'all never seen Casey have to be out in public, taking drinks with us and having fun in the vibe. Y'all talking about some shit like this? Just talk to detectives. To make other phone calls, to do other things. I can't sit here and be crying every two seconds like I want to. I can't. George and Cindy. Early on, they were grandparents who wanted to know, they said, where their granddaughter was. I will walk every inch of this earth and open every door and knock on every door. And I will look in every nook and cranny until I find her. Because of social media, this took on a life of its own. We had these pictures of this beautiful little girl. One of Casey's former boyfriends, Ricardo Morales, told investigators that he got a message from Casey saying that she didn't feel she could participate fully with her friends because she was a mother. In early May, she's having a Facebook chat with another guy and tells him that I'm going crazy over here, at least the kid is passed out. I mean, that's not. like a normal Police thing for a parent to say, Casey Anthony, a person <laughs> That's not weird. Well, it's it's normal to think that you're, like, losing your mind as a kid and you're happy that they're sleeping. Want to be a mother. Thank you. We don't <laughs> that's not weird. That is not like, Wait, nothing. did she murder her daughter? There's something wrong. I found my daughter's car today, and it smells like there's been a dead body in the damn car. She brought cadaver dogs in. The dog will indicate to the handler in some way that maybe a dead body's been there. He alerted to the, the odor of human decomposition. Okay, so the that dog confirms. Yes, ma'am. This pointed us in the direction that this child is dead. Not only was she dead, she had been in the trunk of Casey's car. And so, uh, and obviously we, we couldn't say that for sure, but it seemed pretty likely. I mean, that's fair. At this point, Casey was in jail. And we all believe that we arrested the right person. Well, what did he just say? They all believe that they were arrested the right person. So at that point, she was already in jail. That sounds a, that sounds like a weird thing for him to say. At that point, yeah, we believe we arrested the right person. Yeah, we're gonna skip this part too. This is just like a commercial hey, break. Hey, at that point, right? Fuck your ad point and what you believe, nigga. But what really happened, bitch? So at that point. Well, we believe yeah, she was in jail well, uh, we, at that time. Well, we let's believe. go ahead and figure out what the rest really happened and how much more crazy this shit getting. Because it already sounds wild, right? It sounds a little crazy. Yo. Can we get a puppy, Mom? Be ready for the time 30 on this shit. You're going to be like, wait. Hey, do you want to watch? What? Here we go. <laughs> walked down to the Florida jail Friday morning. Yes, she did. Uh, she's being hit by an umbrella. Y'all are hopeless. Was released on a Why? Let him, let him take her picture. For what? I mean, she didn't do nothing wrong, right? What's the problem? Well, why does everybody take take her picture? Because they thought she did something wrong. Because they thought she did something wrong. Oh, shit. Fighting back protesters demanding Casey Anthony's return to jail. Protesters feel she Casey is. is hiding a horrible truth. <laughs> So some people are like, no, she shouldn't be in there. And some people are like, yes, she should. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. a back and forth. Why wouldn't you report your kid missing for 30 days? What if you thought they were with somebody? I don't know. Well, we'll see. Family members. 
the impression that I started to get was the existence of Kaylee was, was probably interfering with Casey's desire to be more socially active with people of her own age. One to party. Can't party when you got a baby. <laughs> From conducting these interviews, the day that I think whatever terrible happened to Kaylee was June the 16th. And the last person other than Casey to see Kaylee that we're aware of was George Anthony. It's June 16th. That's the last 16th. time. 16th. That's, 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 that's the last time that I saw my daughter and granddaughter together. Yeah. Okay. And she says, Dad, you know, I'm on my way to work. Uh, Kaylee's going to the <laughs> house. I'll be working late, so we'll be staying over tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow. The, the 3rd of July is when she gets that tattooed Bella Vita. That means the good life. Your child is missing. How do you get a tattoo, like a billboard, showing the world I'm living the perfect life? Who does that? I mean, bro, people. And then the activity bro, picked up people for get Tony all Lazaro. Type of tattoo. Tony Lazaro was. I don't know, though. He's right, though. At the time oh that Kaylee God, went missing. Bro, that's crazy. When that they is first weird. Met, Kaylee was always with. Casey. No, it's just for us to do it. It stopped. My name is Clint House. I was Tony Lazaro's former roommate. Okay, nigga, when so go ahead and lace us up. Missing, I was just absolutely blown away. It just doesn't make any sense. In the early beginnings of the relationship, Casey would bring Kaylee over. I saw you know Casey you sure? doing flashcards <laughs> with her, All right. teaching her how to say words. And that just made me want to be that type of parent to my own child. She always, you know, had a backpack with everything that Kaylee needed whenever she brought her over to the apartment. She was such a good mom. But that month that Kaylee, we, when we found out that she had been missing, Casey showed no indication that anything was wrong. She was just living her life we were all confused. We we're like, how is she missing? She did absolutely nothing in the search for her child. And that I will never forgive her for. I admitted that I lied to law enforcement. <clears throat> so I am a convicted liar. It's the truth. Thank you. Be real with him. And what is your relationship to truth and lying today? I'm a little too honest. I'm blunt. I'm direct. Mm -hmm. Almost, Almost painfully so. You did pop it off a little bit. Today, would you say Casey is an honest person? Yes. How honest? Enough. I think she's very truthful today. <laughs> I trust her uh, so, much so much. I trust her with my research, uh, with my invoices. So in the past 10 years, you've never caught her in an out-and-out lie? Never. Not in 10 years. I don't believe that. Or however long. Yeah, actually, you it's know what? Maybe, yeah. maybe so the truth. No, bro, let's really. be honest. Yeah, maybe so the truth. Let's be honest, bro. Lies. Bro. It's kind of my job. I was about to get She's good. very honest. Mm -hmm. She's not really saying anything right now, though. This is kind of just like a sob story. She was just. No, she basically said, like. So she's saying, I was present. Like, that's the point she's she said. She said, I was here. But I party. Big brown eyes and just the cute right. little smile. Really? So she's, she's trying to discredit the like. She wasn't around and like, was like an absent mother. She so, said so I wouldn't kill my daughter, nigga. Example. All right, you know what I'm saying? All right. We became close friends very quickly. It's so progressive. I think this picture <laughs> was from my birthday. Casey was a good mom. She took care of that child. She loved that baby. She was always focused on Kaylee. You know, she was a part of her. She was everywhere that she was. It's very clear when I talk to the policemen. They all... <laughs> There's a picture of her with her head in the toilet. It was her 21st birthday. Like, come on. <laughs> it was her 21st birthday. Right. The media made it like yeah, all she wanted to do from... was to kill her kid and go out and party. It's not until she herself tells me that she did it. That there's no way. No way she killed that baby. I think an accident probably happened. And I think that she did what she always did, and she lied. That's an interesting angle. When I was angle. friends with Casey, she lied about everything. OK. When Casey was questioned by the police, she said she dropped Kaylee off at this apartment complex. 
Well, I used to live in that apartment complex. Uh, I think in her okay. mind, she wasn't lying. She had brought Kaylee there before she had never dropped her off. Kaylee had been there. That's still lying, though. I'm fairly certain that she definitely was employed at Universal at some point, whether it was like right out of high school or when she yeah, was in high school. Yeah, but like when she was employed there Again, is still truths. a lie. No, those are actual lies. When I lied during this and even so prior to, lie. there was always at least some part of the truth. That doesn't matter. That was a part of the lie. That doesn't matter. I did work still at Universal for a very long time. Yeah, but not when you said you worked there, so who yeah, cares? Sawgrass Apartments, that's where Annie Downing lived. That doesn't matter, the it's irrelevant. Truth within the lie. Right, yeah, it was a kernel of truth within a lie. So the, it was just a lie. So let's go back to the beginning. I'm excited. I know, I yeah. <laughs> you're saying, <laughs> all, the, you're you're saying all the fucked the up shit, though. Like, uh, we'll see. In the beginning. We'll see. We got two more. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, bro, you ain't. No, hey, if I come around, hey, hey uh. That's cool. Little My little boy. Little I got an open hey. mind, man. Hey, Daniel, cheers. That's true. Was not hey. Hey, hey, look, hey, enjoy this hey, look. Cheers hey. to Casey Anthony. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 no, look, we'll I'm going to be you, honest. Man. I think that Casey <laughs> Anthony was free and her parents did it. I don't know how this documentary going to turn out or nothing. I ain't never seen it. Hester has no idea. Yo, we should watch it. Oh, yeah. She was in jail for a while, too. Every day. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Can you rewind it back a little bit? So I'm sorry, y'all. We did. We and Hassan did talk over a little bit of that. Everyone, because we did talk over a little bit of that. Drank right. so much of that. Right. Who has her? Do you have a name? Name was true, but it was not her nanny or barber or or sitter. Okay, so she admitted that, but she did admit so she knew lying. the bitch. But it's still lying. She admits she knew the bitch though. Who had her daughter? Oh, she lied about her being a babysitter or something else. So you know what I'm saying? Oh, that. that's a little different. Alright. Why is she lying though? Like, why lie to begin? I don't with? know. We gotta find out, bro. It's crazy that they found the baby. I wonder how, Help us like, how that happened. Why were you lying to the she said every Right. Day she, why were you lying? She said, but she said everyone. every day she felt like her kid was right. actually why? good. That was my whole life point. up to that point. She felt like, like her kid was okay, cool. But no, I'm trying to analyze my own behavior and explain my own behaviors. All of this is a reaction to trauma. She, this sounds like bullshit. A and reaction to trauma? I, I lied because of trauma. Let's see. I was trying to put as much of what was associated with those memories into those boxes and then locking it away and putting it back on the shelf. It's pretty obvious that with everything that you've told us, nothing has been true. This is the honest to God's truth of everything that I've said. I do not know where she is. The last person that I saw her with is Zanaya. She's the last person that I've seen my daughter with. And gave law enforcement absolutely no reason to believe or trust anything that I said. You didn't, idiot. We got your mouth. Because I lied, because I brought you up here. I get why from an outside perspective, all of this just seems Yeah, so because you're lying about everything. Because even for me, it still feels that way. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, there's there's no. That's the bro. We're just starting though. Like I said, this yes. is a three-hour. Think about it. Think about it. It's a three-hour fucking episode, good. right? This is the beginning. Just doing what I was. So to wait do. until you start seeing how everything really starts to fold out, nigga. I know, bro. I was the same way with bro, you, bro. I, I, I was with you too. I ever told the truth. I was like, this party and bitch killed her kid because she wanted to party. That's what it sounds like, right? All right, All right, right bro. My family. We are gonna this see. What we're here for? Yeah, this is this Mother, what father, we're here for. Son, middle class, white American family. All right. Was hey, hey, my just, boy. Just a good old typical just white American. Big Tucker family. The outside world saw this. My boy has perfect little family. Hey. White American family. White picky with the name this is Look, he, white he, picky he, fancy. He wanna cling to that. Yeah, Look at that. He wanna yeah. cling to that shit. Just a good old Our southern life white family. Was a lie. <laughs> Telling the truth. Especially God, Casey said it. Casey it said it. I'm just I'm just I'm just drinking to it. <laughs> he was a man who was incapable of ever telling the truth. Oh my god, bro. My father was trying to hide that he wasn't working. I mean, yeah. My mother was the true matriarch, that. was the sole breadwinner. I can see that. She worked 14 to 16 hour days Ew. to not only keep our <laughs> I know home, someone else like food that. on the table. My mom had found out that he had taken $60,000 out of her retirement 
He claims at first it was a Nigerian Ponzi scheme and then what? that he had gambled away the money. What the fuck? The story kept evolving. Mm -hmm. Oh. Another commercial break! Back to the, to the to the white bitch killing her babies. First of all, singular one, and she didn't fucking kill him, and she didn't kill him. Her fucking parents did. So watch it. That's right. how I feel. I hope they address that. And, and look, if y'all want to argue with me, I fuck y'all. I have not seen this, so I'm not spoiling shit. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I was just TV. old enough to watch the actual case when it happened yeah. Yeah. on Court TV, which is Channel 48 for me. So fuck y'all. Casey did not do this shit. And she looked much better back then, so I wouldn't probably mess with her now. She looks much older, and she don't look like she party all that much. The partier Casey Anthony, though, yes. I would happily How'd oblige to take her out for a nice dinner, no such thing a few drinks, sleep. go dance somewhere. Not that I know. For sure. Not that a lot I know. of nights, I have for sure. clear. My father was holding me down and raping me. Cool. So this <laughs> my thing. <laughs> so this my thing. I don't feel like... I don't, I, I don't feel like she's like. Why is she saying when this? When I was eight years old. She's so crazy. Okay, my hold on. Started to come into my room at night. Ew. I feel like she's just naturally talking about like she's hurt. not coming out and like. Scared because I was. Oh my god. Like I can't tell mommy what Trump happened. Trump. <laughs> and it's just like she'll get mad at me. All the what? That's she what remembers. I was told. Oh. I think stuff happened to her. And I but think father, I feel like she's honest about it. She's not like just before my saying it to defend herself. Like she's just my talking. My father started coming in shortly after I turned twelve. What? Well, when when Casey Anthony's getting fucked by her dad and her brother. Who isn't getting fucked by their dad? Well, well this is what I'm saying though. Damn. Think about it. She held it through a motor trial and everything. Not and she's yeah, calm talking about it. Right. Close enough. Crazy. Crazy. What does this have to do with her kid though? You did tell your mom. Let's keep that. watching, bro. Okay. Nothing. I do not. That that would make you think she not would cherish her kid anymore. more. Told you, bro. Just so me. Casey I Anthony grew up in a household like, that tried to keep her a I wasn't child. A girl anymore. What the fuck? What her dad? Oh, uh, I just spilled a little. What her dad fucked her. She was always trying to create this image of what our family should be, right. which was not what it was. Why is her mom tolerating that though? I think she was lying to herself. <laughs> trying to you know what i mean like that's fucked up she was fighting so what i'm gonna change it right now she's telling you right now <laughs> hey hold on i just spilled this drink all over yeah, yeah we, uh, we can pause it we can pause it yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you so hey. let's let's talk about this bro okay, hold on. let me clean let me clean up it's, clean up it's what, what you what, what you need what you need <laughs> let's go ahead and dead ass talk about yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. her dad goosing her right <laughs> okay right all right oh oh wait i'm sorry is that too straightforward no that's what i mean that's what they're saying because that's what it is right he goosed her so then the real question is, did the mom know? And she was like, I mean, maybe I thought she did, but she did like that lifestyle, though. <laughs> she did like that lifestyle, though. Like, uh, so, bro, this this is all I say. Not every woman is like that, but let's not act like women will be like, look, dude, that's our daughter, but... Hey, I gotta get up and, I gotta piss. Uh, Sorry. You gonna leave me here with this conversation? <laughs> Talk about girls fucking their dads. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. He wants me to talk about girls fucking dads. I'm going to be honest. It's never girls fucking dads, right? I'm going to be 1,000% honest. It is dads being fucked up, maybe, towards their daughters. I don't think there's ever a case where a daughter comes up to their dad and be like, Hey, dad, like, nigga, you fine was good. I, I don't think ever in life will we ever hear no fucking dumb shit like that. It's always the father manipulating and fucking the little kids within the family and shit and then wondering why pe everybody's brains is all fucking messed up. So this is crazy. Now we found out that her dad was fucking goosing. Goosing. Right? But her mama loved the lifestyle. So maybe her mama knew and then just kind of allowed it. Like, are, are, are we going crazy right now? Now, again, let's be honest. This has nothing to do with Casey Anthony killing her daughter. Okay? But first of all, I don't think she fucking did it. We're going to watch the rest of the show and we're going to see. I don't think she did it. But I think that is bullshit. Because they still married. 
The same motherfuckers we talking about. They still a couple. <clears throat> they was in court. They could have held each other down all that <clears throat> shit to this day. So either the mom and the dad are both hoes, <laughs> or at least the dad is for fucking her. Because I'm pretty sure his motherfucking ass did that shit. I didn't what the fuck? <laughs> what the Casey fuck? Going into Kaylee's savings account that I'd started with her and taking money out. Casey learned by example. And I. Wow. You're, okay, you're, you're really. Damn. Even then, I'm gonna keep it up. Oh, the drama. Oh. Why did you take the money from Amy? It was a really shitty mistake. Okay. I used and manipulated all of the people around me in an attempt to appear normal. When you weren't. Which was extremely abnormal. Exactly. When the most normal thing would have been to say, I need help. Thank but I you. I didn't know how to say that. Just, but, but, ah, my nigga. See, I don't, I'm not convinced though. Okay, well, keep watching. Casey right. Anthony says you five she's minutes looking in. for her missing daughter. We don't know if that's true, but we do know this. Casey got a tattoo. Hell yeah, what's but, that tattoo mean? All this, uh, it says like, thank you for like the new life, my <laughs> you new life. Your tattoo. You covered up your Alameda, tattoo. That was my fuck you to my family. Mm -hmm. I spent my entire life protecting our perfect, beautiful little family and acting like I had this enviable life and in a lot of ways and again this is after going through therapy and trying to explain why i got the tattoo in the first place especially during that time period exactly what the fuck because that was a subconscious way for me to to speak out against all of it. I sort of believe her here. I'm telling you. I sort of believe her here. She is but this talking. But this is tattoo, though. Dude, no. Just, you can feel her spirit and how she's talking. Up. She's not just forcing what she's saying. And you can get the tattoo, And my like, flawed like, and fucked up life. She's talking out of her heart. Right? Really I was blatantly pregnant and still saying no because that's what we had all agreed to. Even my coworkers at the time. Every one of her oh, said, don't say no to be in I kind of hesitate and go, what? Of course I was pregnant. What does that mean? If you're pregnant, but just you say you're pregnant. What the but, fuck? But, but everybody around her is telling her, like, no, don't say that you are. Why? Because her dad is fucking her? How did you get pregnant? Is that what? I don't know, bro. Is that what? Right. 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 Okay, so we're putting the pieces together. The All right. No, my father uh, is not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have to know real quick. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, uh, nigga, because we have to hey. know real quick. I don't ever see it happening everywhere else like that. I what? feel like only white people uh, be fucking their family members. <laughs> I mean that I'm aware of. Incest, from what I've seen, has always been white people. White people. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. let's, let's be honest. Have you seen incest outside of? I don't see black people well, fucking their family. I was at a house party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've only seen white years. people with incest white family yeah. members. I mean, white people are the only people that'll fuck their family members and leave lions as pets. I woke up with my and let them roam throughout San Antonio. Yeah, just let them out, right? And Apparently, in San Antonio. Of my Apparently, shirt, but up over in Texas. My breasts. He's got tigers and shit. And I was lethargic. I was, was let's hear about this bitch talking about how sad she was. Extremely disoriented. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, and I could feel like I had had forcible sex. How soon after the rape do you realize? <clears throat> Almost immediately. Oh, ah! that's rough. Six Damn, weeks. dude. Six weeks is when, when Texas doesn't allow you to do it no more. I was pregnant. I told them that Jesse Grund was the father. Jesse Grund. Okay, pause, 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 real quick. Pause. Two seconds. Two seconds. I just want to ask a question right now. Y'all comment below. Y'all comment right now below. And because of situations like this, which is why I want to talk about it, are y'all for or against abortions? I want to hear y'all's answers below right are now. Are you asking for in the context of it being the dad's baby? I'm, I'm asking in the context you get raped when you're fucking 10 years old. And then you, uh, you end up having a fucking baby. 
You now you can't you have to have the baby. But are you for or against um the abortion law right now? Comment below. That's this is what I want to know. And I'm asking this question right now because I feel like at the end of the day, this is a little bit of a wild. Like in Texas, they wouldn't be able to abort this. Y'all are women. It's six weeks already. And y'all should be able to fucking choose. I see. But here in Texas, where we at, you can't abort at all. Well, you just gotta well, have you what you get. Weeks. In this situation, is it not fucking fair for y'all to be able to fucking defend yourselves and be like, I'm not having this fucking. Dude, I get so mad about this shit. And then I'm defending women, right? Right. That is fucked up for y'all to have to be having babies like this and not having a say so in it. It's fucking shitty. Do not come to Texas. Low key, we've been watching. We don't the, give a fuck. We've been watching Handmaid's Tale lately, and you're like we, popping off like somebody who's talking about that shit. We don't give a fuck about none of y'all shit no more. So y'all can get fucked, raped, all that shit, and y'all still gonna have to have that baby, which is fucking ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And and Texas, who never approves anything. That's right. one of the things we fucking approve. <laughs> yeah, that's true though. That Are you fucking true, serious? You uh, you can't gamble uh, on sports. You can't smoke weed, but and you also can't abort that baby either. Apparently, even though know, you got worried about fucking five motherfuckers, I'm so sorry, ma'am, that you went through those circumstances, ma'am. But, but you gonna go ahead and have to have that baby, word. and you gonna have to. Carry Fuck a off! Go ahead and carry a turkey. Oh, I hate Texas, guys. I'm moving away from this bitch. And I'm sorry that I'm ranting right now, but this kind of bullshit pisses me off. This is Casey Anthony shit, right? Where we're defending her mother and her kid, but this set me off. That is fucking bullshit. Women should not have to do that. I'm on women's side. Y'all should have the decision to make that fucking choice. This is fucked up. Motherfuckers forcing you to have to have some shit when nobody knows the circumstances. So fuck off, but let's go. My bad, guys. My bad. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, my bad, dude. My bad. That is so fucked there we go. up. That's so fucked up. So, do we know who the daddy is? Like, just get, just jump to the case. Like, you had to have done a paternity just test, right? I found out I was pregnant. Did you think? I guess you have to have the, the dad, dad to do that too, right? Yes, there was a possibility, at least still in my head at the time. As my which most girls don't do, they just don't tell them, and then they just was. have them came to realize that that wasn't the case. But I made a very selfish decision to not tell Jesse. And let let another nigga take care of somebody, the rape baby. Don't counsel us. But I didn't. At that point, I hadn't told anyone that I was raped. But it was really her dad? What the fuck? She didn't say and that even yet. And after that, I never told Jesse how I got pregnant in the first place. I lied and said that it was <clears throat> this old friend from way back when. Bullshit, shut the fuck up. Kaylee's never had a father. But that yeah, sounds bogus. This is my girl, Casey. Um, and, uh, and I'm still fucking with her. By the time Kaylee was born, he had already started a, a The only issue is who killed her baby. It doesn't matter who the father was. The year. She was a part of here. I lied to everyone. She probably fucked with a druggie, right? And so overdosed or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> feeling like I needed about? to live a certain life or show people a certain life. The baby overdose? Because I didn't want people to The baby to of the me. dad. Because the, the, the baby of the dad, is the, he's up, not in the story. Thinking she was I feel like he overdosed on drugs so and shit like that. She liked the party. She got pregnant by a druggie. He died. Overdose or something. So she was stuck with the baby. Yeah. Not stuck with the baby, but... Yeah. But she loved that. What I'm saying is, right, she loved that baby. I'm not... I mean, I'm, it I, sounds I, like... He, I don't I'm, know how you don't love your baby. Well, this is the thing. I don't feel like she'd pretend this type of shit. This doesn't look... If she killed her kid. She's crying better than Amber Heard, dude. This is not don't look fake. She's giving off a natural. That's what She missed her fucking kid, you know. Yes. But you could still miss your kid after killing them. But I don't. Like you could regret your decision. I'll say this: I feel like she knows who killed her kid. 
I don't feel like she did. Why wouldn't she just say it then and just clear? Because I feel like they were her parents, and she don't want to do her parents like that. Uh, I mean, that is right. You have been aligned with that this whole time. I'm telling you, bro. It like it's crazy. I probably wouldn't rat my mom out. I don't know. Like I'd be like, my mom's gonna go to prison for the rest of my life. Like, so you take gonna die in there? Like if I say something, you take whatever she's doing. She's gonna die in prison. Exactly. No, you or like the baby's already dead and it is what it is and it's already over. So you'd be cool. And I just. Won't say shit. And you still miss the fuck out your kid, though. Right. And be hurt. just like this. Does it look like she's faking that? Does that look fake to you? No. How she talks about no. her child? No. Does any of it so seem fake? She sounds like she it loves her baby. Cool. As fuck. But I, I feel fuck. like you can love your baby and still kill your baby too, though. That's yeah, why I feel but, like I'm. But not sit here and act like this. I don't know. I think you could regret decisions you made in the past. She's not a fucking actor, bro. Fuck that. No, no, no. I'm not saying she is. That's my point. I think you could regret decisions you made, though. I think you need to watch the rest of these other three right. episodes. We'll no on. one cared why I Come lied. On. Oh, I'm just doing what they told me to do. Just saying what they tell me to say. She said everything she's been saying is something that she was told to say. Someone's told her. Who? Hey, say it. Yeah. No, fuck your bullshit ass cops. Right. Cops don't want to paint a picture. She did say that they are telling Stop me. Stop playing with me, Hester. You to know, know this bullshit. Don't do that. I don't know who they is. She though. said that. Not her, her. Come on. Almost 14 years ago that I am now. What? A voice now. Who told you to lie to the cops? Speak up against my abuser now. Who told you to lie to cops? All right. <laughs> is that valid? No. <laughs> no, look, I am not trying to be weird, I know. No, I mean, if but if he did, pop, she would listen if, to if, if your dad listen. told you some shit, but would you, you go in and do it, right? Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? Easy. It appeared that a person from the Anthony home taped her face up with duct tape, stuffed her in a trash bag, dumped her in the woods. There was no question in their minds about whether or not I did anything to my daughter. Everything was against her. The All world right. was against which her. Which we you just heard. You think she's a psychopath. Which we Absolutely. just heard about. I said to Casey, we have right. to really be able to tell your story. How does this... Ah, oh, we're leaving it off at this? Uh, yes, sir. That's how it works. Hey, if y'all like this, comment below right now. It was like I was brainwashed. Let's go. I know you want to ask me about the last day she was here. The last day that I saw her. The day uh -oh. she Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Come on. Hey, can we come back to this? If y'all really fucked with this, comment, like, so share, all that shit below. Because we'll finish this just for we us. We can't this is keep actually going. Good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I'm not going to lie. This is not bad. Ooh, hey, y'all. Uh, fuck with, with us with well, it. Well, I'm going to cut this up, man. Fuck with us with it. Fuck with us with it. And you know... If y'all made it this far. Oh, y'all know what to do. Hit that sub button. Show, show. And like that motherfucker. Texas Roadhouse on your ass. Hey, on your ass. Hey, Clanky. Yes, sir. Hey, shout out to Cinnamon Hunter Buddy. Hunter Butter Honey. The Cinnamon Butter Biscuits. Biscuits. Who the <laughs> fuck is Cinnamon? <laughs> who's, who's Cinnamon? You gotta just get it wrong. First of all, <laughs> it's, it's Cocoa Butter Biscuits. <laughs> You spot. said cinnamon. You no, said. cinnamon butter for Texas Roadhouse. Cinnamon. I was no, gonna say cinnamon hey. butter bitches. On a cocoa butter bitches. On the coach of cocoa butter bitches. I don't know what the fuck. Hey, fuck me out this hole, bro. The fuck.